Independence Pro is the sampler which comes bundled with Samplitude Pro X Suite. The version which comes with Samplitude Pro X Suite contains around 70 gigabytes of samples. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set the independent sample library path. Once this is done, you will be able to load independent instruments from within Samplitude. I'm going to presume you've already installed the Independence Pro plugin when you installed Samplitude Pro X. The samples which come with Independence Pro are called image files. These image files contain the sample library data. So I'm also going to presume you have these image files located somewhere on your hard drive. They will probably be in a folder called Independence Pro or Yellow Tools. So I have Samplitude Pro X open and I'm clicking on the first plugin slot. Going down to where it says VSTI and selecting Magix Synth. You can see independence in the list, so left click and the plugin will open. To begin with, you will be presented with a software routing dialog box. For this initial setup, I'm going to choose the first option, which is simple audio MIDI together on the same track. So now we are presented with another dialog box asking, do you want to install the independence content now? As I have already installed it on my samples drive, I'm going to click no. To add an independence instrument, you would need to click where it says 01, click here to load instrument. But because I have not set the sample library path, there are no instruments in the list. So the next thing I'm going to do is set my independent sample library path. Left click on preferences, then select the libraries tab. Next, left click on the add library button. We are now presented with a browse for folder add library dialog box. I'm going to navigate to my samples folder, which is drive E. Obviously in your case, you may need to navigate to a different location. Look for a folder named either yellow tools or independence pro. My folder is called yellow tools. The next step is very important. Make sure you navigate to the folder which has the image files inside it. The folder containing the image files will be called Independence Pro. Select the Independence Pro folder and click OK. You will now notice that this library path has been added to the list. Once again I'm going to click on the Load Instrument menu. It may turn out that there are still no instruments in the list, as is the case here. This can be solved by clicking on the Rebuild menu. Let's have another look. Yes, there they are. Independence Pro Instruments. I'm going to load the first instrument in the list, which is an acoustic drum kit. That seems to be working. I'm now going to try loading another sound. How about an acoustic piano? This seems to be working as well. So now you have access to your independence sounds.